Hey everybody, welcome to another thrilling episode of Data Double Click. I'm your host, Scott Klein, and back in the studio, actually he never left, <laughs> is, is Danny. Uh, Danny, why don't you take a second to introduce yourself. For those that unfortunately didn't watch the first video, shame on them, but why don't you introduce yourself real quick. Thank you. Danny Lapava, Program Manager, Azure SQL Database. I work on Azure SQL Database and Manage Instance Perf. Yeah. Uh, monitoring and improvements and also automatic cool. tuning. Awesome. So we just did a video, which is awesome. Danny's all the way in from uh, Serbia, so we're glad we got him. We just did a video on um, uh, SQL Analytics with uh, SQL Database. And Elastic and, Pools. And Elastic Pools. Mm -hmm. We're now going to talk about, uh, so give us a quick intro of what we're going to talk about now. We're going to talk about performance monitoring for managed instances and databases managed instances. Yes. Cool. Yeah, so uh, let's do a quick overview first of what managed instance is, right? So this is the ability, I've kind of a, like you said earlier, mm -hmm. kind of a lift and shift. I've got an mm -hmm. on-premises and I want to take advantage of almost the entire stack of mm -hmm. SQL Server capabilities. It allows me to just do a quick lift and shift, right? Mm -hmm. So managed instance is our latest offering mm -hmm. uh, within, within um, Azure SQL Database. It has near 100% compatibility yep. with on-premises. Uh, SQL servers. So that means that customers can lift and shift their applications with zero or little code changes yeah. to uh, to the cloud and really enables the path for the on-prem customers to enjoy the benefits of the right. of being of running in the cloud. Cool. And uh, if I remember right, because I watched uh, just G G8, correct? Just G8, 1st of October. 1st of October, yep. yeah. Cool. So that's exciting. So uh, uh, I think I think that opens up a, a, a lot of uh, opportunities for people, mm -hmm. right? So in our last video, we talked about SQL Analytics for SQL Database and, and Database Pools. Mm -hmm. Now you, you show us same thing, I think, for, for managed instances. For managed instance, yes. right? Okay. So um, Azure SQL Analytics is uh, also available for managed instances. It does performance monitoring for across your subscriptions, across multiple managed instances, and all of your databases that you host on managed instances. So it is a monitoring solution at scale. Mm -hmm. It has a built-in intelligence that automatically troubleshoots performance issues right. for you. Okay. Um, what we do is if there is a um, performance issue on a database, the algorithm goes in and it detects, it detects 14 performance right. um, uh, problems and it notifies you about right. it. Uh, uh, this is a question I was going to ask on the last one, which is you said a cross subscription. So I can, if I have multiple subscriptions, Mm -hmm. Then I'm looking at I can do all of that in that one like you call the one pane of pane single of single pane of glass single yes. pane of glass for all my subscriptions yes, yes. right so, so I, I may have if you if you wish to do so you can also do it separately some right. people some companies prefer to do it separately you can right. set up different dashboards different workspaces so um, you can monitor uh, all through a single pane of glass or through multiple uh, panes of glass. Okay. Uh, another quick question: Is this a, is uh, am I is there any cost associated with SQL Analytics other than obviously the cost of the database and the cost of storage? Mm -hmm. Right, but is there any additional to that? Mm -hmm. So the solution is free for up to five hundred megs of data ingestion per day. Per day, okay. That basically means that about eighty to hundred databases you monitor are free, and okay. then above that it's. Uh, to 30 US per gig of data ingestion. Per gig, okay. But still, I think it's still the cheapest monitoring yeah. solution uh, on the market. Oh, by I think by far. You, know, yeah. you start doing the math and the comparison. I mean, that's mm -hmm. I think that's you know pennies on the so we say pennies on the dollar, right? Extremely yeah. inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, just f uh, given, especially given the capabilities that we mm -hmm. saw in the last video, right? Mm -hmm. I think people pay, <laughs> you know, uh, you know. I obviously hand that out just for that kind of information, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, uh, for our uh, solution for Azure SQL databases and Elastic Pools, we actually had customers who switched completely to Azure SQL Analytics and saved a lot of money. Awesome. Okay. So how does this work with uh, uh, um, managed instances? instances? Yeah. You need to set up the solution by going to the marketplace mm -hmm. and you first add the solution from the marketplace. Okay. You create a workspace, which is this dashboard. Um, that you use to monitor all of your resources. And then you would need to go to each of the managed instances and databases and stream the telemetry into the solution. So like we saw in the last video, I have to go to mm -hmm. each database and say, all right, turn on telemetry. Yes. To here. Okay. Yes. Maybe I can show that. Okay. So what you do is you go, First of all, you install your solution mm -hmm. uh, from the marketplace. So you add Azure SQL Analytics. Yep. You select the dashboard. 
you go to your managed instance. This is my managed instance that I have on the solution here. You go to diagnostic settings in here, and then you turn on streaming of the telemetry and you point it to the monitoring Mon workspace that you've just created. That you've just created. Okay. All right, and that's very simple to what we saw in the last video with uh, SQL Database, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. And then you would need to go to, um, to your databases. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to select one of the databases uh, in this managed instance. And similarly, I would click on Diagnostic Settings and I would also turn on the streaming telemetry okay. uh, in this screen as well. Okay, very cool. I would point it to a, to a workspace. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so very simple, right? So set up the workspace, go to the database, turn it on, tell it to stream. Stream telemetry into the workspace. Yeah, yep. that's it. Okay. You get it going. You access the solution by clicking on this tile. On this particular uh, demo, I have 10 managed instances and 100 databases that I'm monitoring. Oh, okay, yep. I access the dashboard. So here are all of my 10 managed instances that I'm monitoring. Here I see the CPU consumption for each of my managed instances. I obviously see that this managed instance here in red is running hot. I can hover over. It tells me the name uh, of that managed instance, and then I can click on that particular managed instance and go oh, very cool. more into details very to cool. investigate. Okay. Here I see the managed uh, instance dashboard. It tells me what my CPU utilization is for this managed instance. Mm -hmm. It tells me my storage consumption, which here is not a lot. Um, I requests and bytes read and written on the managed instance. Furthermore, uh -huh. I see all of my databases hosted on this managed, managed instance. instance. Okay. And I see all the queries running across my databases sorted by the longest running queries. So I ah. see two queries in here that are really uh, consuming a lot of time. I see there is an event here that some queries have spiked. Mm -hmm. So I can hover over. I see that the wait time is um, 13 to 47. So these are these two queries which are running the longest. Mm -hmm. Then I can click on them to troubleshoot, troubleshoot further. I click on this long running query. Mm -hmm which I think is giving me the trouble. In here, I can copy paste this script and execute it in SSMS in order to retrieve the query text. Okay. So I can know exactly what query the this query. is in my application. Then I see all the databases on which this query is executing and this query is ex the same query is ex executing across multiple databases on on my managed instance. Okay. And then I see that this query here uh, is running the longest on this particular database. And that's obviously the spike. Yep. Then I can further drill down on this particular database. So see, here's the interesting thing. This, the same query is running on multiple databases yep. and just uh, the solution helped me identify on which particular database Databases. is yeah, I was just running the yeah. longest. Yep. And then in here, we have the built-in intelligence, which is Intelligent Insights into Performance. And let me tell you about that solution. It is a, is a wonderful solution that we built in, uh, which uses the, uh, the Azure intelligence to troubleshoot the performance right. problems for you. Okay. Because every database is workload is different. Uh, all those same query, as you've seen, is running on multiple databases. The performance on each database might be different. So it baselines each database in terms of performance. And if there is a problem, it custom pinpoints and identifies, hey, on this particular database, you have an issue. Right. And it's telling me here that I have workload problems and that this query. particular query is problematic. Now, if I click on the View Full Insights report, I'll be able to see that this particular query here oh, man. Attributes ninety eight percent, the majority of the to the problem, uh, right? And, and here, once again, I can copy paste the script, yep. uh, executing my SSMS, get the query text, and most likely by fixing this query, okay. I will I will um, solve the problem. But oh, that's awesome. I think the wonderful thing about it is for our customers coming from on prem that most likely they're used to using Activity Monitor and SSMS. Yep, yep. You know, yep. It gives them Profile these or something, yeah. The rudimentary statistics, yep. you would need to have a lot of knowledge. Uh, even to retrieve the query text, you know, you need to do, uh, right. you need to know what to do, what kind of queries to execute. So we basically pack this up into this um, cloud-based monitoring solution. Yep. 
And by moving to the cloud and monitoring now performance of your databases yeah. in the cloud, actually you can do more than you were able to do before on-prem. Yep. And with the built-in intelligent insights uh, into performance, which automatically troubleshoot the performance problems for you, um, you are getting this superpower of running in cloud. And right. I've just shown an example of how you can quickly uh, troubleshoot a perf issue, and yeah. identify a query, and fix it uh, on a large scale across 10 managed instances in this, yeah. in this showcase. Yeah, I, there's some similarities I see between this, because in, in the first video we did, mm -hmm. you've got you know, one you know, single pane of glass, mm -hmm. here's all my databases and mm -hmm. pools. Managed instance is sort of the same thing because I have I, I can have multiple managed instances and mm -hmm. within that those inst managed instances I have multiple databases contain databases yeah contain database yeah. databases so there's you know so kind of the same concept but again a single pane of glass to go what is going on in all my databases yep. Yep. across these managed instances Correct. right oh this one query is being executed on, on all these databases here's mm -hmm. the issue and drill down mm -hmm. from that right mm -hmm. and I think again like we talked about the last one. This is great because now I don't have to do all the manual work of trying to figure out, and right? it's just click, click, click. Oh, look, and there it is, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the question I was going to ask was mm -hmm. that if you, go, uh, if you can go back to the main dashboard, mm -hmm. um, can we, is, it, is this extensible? Can I add my own, uh, and the re what made me think of this question is if you mm -hmm. think it, uh, what's it called now? Azure Data Studio? Is that, uh, uh, which I can I, I create my own insight. Uh -huh. Insights. So can I can I extend this to do the kind of add my own so, insights? Uh -huh. So so you can do custom querying through this. So all of this is based on log analytics query yep. query language, which is well documented online. Okay. Um, you would click on analytics in here. Yep. And then you would use the space here to execute custom queries. Okay. To, to custom query the data because data in here in this solution is stored by 30 days. All the tel telemetry uh, right. sent in the solution is stored by 30 days. Okay. Um, by default. And yep. let's say it's giving me trouble. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just use a different way to, okay. to get it. Okay. So here is beside behind this graph, this mm -hmm. is how a log analytics query looks like. So uh -huh. by writing your own queries, you can custom all the data, all the telemetry that's being stored within the solution ah, for okay, 30 okay. days. Okay, so, oh, so I can modify. Okay, you can you can modify these queries, and also on our Azure documentation mm -hmm. web pages, we have a couple of examples of of these queries for okay. managed instances. For okay. example, I've documented how to set up a an alert on managed instance going uh, out of storage. Okay, very cool. So that's another thing you can do, set up an alert. Right. So by clicking on this plus here, yep. whatever, so this query is um, going through your all of your logs and your telemetry, uh, giving you the results, and uh, you can set up alert on whatever condition, oh, condition nice. you have within okay. this query. Very cool, okay. Yeah, it was, you know, if you go back again, go back to the main page. I mean, that's awesome, right? Because mm -hmm. now you're saying, okay, well, I want to add this, maybe modify that and add a little bit more mm -hmm. information or mm -hmm. tweak it to fit my needs. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, the original question was, can I add another, you know, another query, another graph? Not, not in here. You cannot add this, okay. this dashboard currently is not customizable. But by executing your custom queries, you can create you your custom graphs. Right, okay, very cool. Not, not in this dashboard. Not in the dashboard, but, I, but I can, like you said, I can go ahead and do custom queries. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. This is fantastic. I think I'm getting goosebumps just for the amount of work these guys are doing and all the coolness that these, <laughs> that these guys are putting out. So, Danny, thank you so much. Thank you. This is wonderful. So, I think um, this, I, I would be interested, again, like the last video, I think, you know, the, uh, it's in, obviously in preview. They can reach out mm -hmm. to you and provide feedback. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to see, given now that uh, managed instances is GA and you know it's it's being used already uh, immensely, but now with oh, this yeah. and and it'd be interesting to see where these go based on the feedback and the usage that we're going to see both in SQL mm -hmm. database and managed mm -hmm. instance with mm -hmm. this. So most, mo most definitely, I think this monitoring solution with all the abilities, built-in yeah. intelligence, alerting is giving way more capabilities for our customers in the cloud right. than they used to have on-prem. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah given. So what we definitely look forward to is having Danny back. Uh, Thank you. Either next, either next time he's uh, in Redmond or we can even do this remotely, you know, to show off, you know, the 
the you know, new, new stuff, stuff changes yeah. and things like that to yeah. see just from the feedback you're going to get from this, right? Thank you. And all the good work you're doing. Anyway, thanks for coming, Danny. This is fantastic. It's always a pleasure. All the way from Serbia. Awesome. So, thanks so much. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So, Danny, thanks for coming. Everybody, thanks Thank for watching. If you, again, if you have feedback, make sure Danny knows about it because uh, that just makes the product better. Uh, not that, you know, because these guys are doing awesome work. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Yeah, post a comment on the page. Yep. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you.